just looking out over the bank from the boundary line here, there's Essendon Primary School. You can see what a fantastic job Sheedy's done in indoctrinating the entire northern suburbs. All those kids have got Essendon jumpers on. They're all in red and black. Most of them have got number four, number five, James Hood. Look at that. Kevin Sheedy. Take a bow. Well, Jed, you've really reached the top now. This is the home of the mighty bombers. Windy Hill, Essendon Football Club. Windy Hill, it's called. He knows what windy means. Dogs are usually scared of the wind, but not here. Because the vibe here is so pristine football. Jed could sit here in a blizzard and be happy on this ground. This is the home of the mighty bombers. Kevin Sheedy's taken charge of this club and I tell you what everywhere you look is red and black in these northern suburbs we've shown you the kids at the school over there he's well known for getting a lot of the indigenous players into the AFL he's done a great job but even before Sheedy they were a huge monolith of a club I'm going to stand up now and behind me you'll see the Alan Hurd stand Hurd Grandfather of James Hood, president of the club, ex-player, like the tradition just goes on and on. Over there, on that wing over there, where you can see the trucks and that, that's the bowling club now, it used to be the Essendon Tennis Club. Young blokes would be hitting the balls, like the tennis court would come right up to the boundary line nearly. Whenever the bombers weren't doing well, which wasn't very often at all, They'd be pelted with beer cans, full cans of Vic Bitter coming on. Bloke trying to do a nice forehand and bang, his racket's wrecked. He's been hit by a can of VB. But it doesn't matter because he's going to go up to his grandkids 50 years later and say, I was playing tennis out there and I went for a forehand and some Essendon player bloody broke my racket. It's all part of the Bombers dynasty here. If we look around again, I'm going to ask you to pan it again, Darren, because I've just noticed the seats in this park here are red and black. Unbelievable, even the Deros, when they're asleep on the cold, wintry nights up here. It's called Windy Hill, it's bloody freezing. They have the comfort of sleeping on that red and black seat. And you look at all of the seats around here, they're all red and black. The, the standard of the football from here has always been sensational. I don't know why, maybe it's because they're nearly red, white and black. They're red and black. But I've always had a great admiration from the Bombers. Over here in the forward pocket, I came here one wet day in 1982 and a bloke called Paul Salmon was playing his third or fourth game. Making a big impression he was. Pouring with rain. So he led out from full forward, took a strong mark in the square and got belted behind the ear by this and killed the full back. I don't know who it was. It might have been Doug Cox or somebody like that. I thought, what's he going to do? He hits the deck. He gets up. His head's got mud all over it, all wet. He turns around to our full back and goes, eh, I love that. Do it again. Goes back and kicks the goal. He turned into a champion. This is really a fantastic ground up here at Essendon. And I'm just privileged to be amongst aristocracy.